In our last section, we learned how to pre-fill all these um, our user input fields with some value in the drop-down, add the approver dynamically from employee table, and so on. Okay. Now I'm gonna quickly show you this portion where I added the feature um, where you can drag and drop your receipts. So for example, here you're able to drop something on top of this, and then it captures what is the name of the file the user has dragged on top of this particular control. So let me close the form and once you go back here you'll see there is um, this is basically a list view so you can see from top here this is the list view and the name is list view 3 that's the name of the control so in order to use this there are various ways to do it there are APIs as well that you'll find in the internet uh, but I'm using this specifically because um, this particular control you know like has um, um, you know, like the only drag and drop event associated with this control. Similarly, you can use a tree view as well for this. So let me demonstrate this very quickly by adding the list view here. This is the list view. If you don't find this uh, in your control toolbox, right click on it, go to add snow controls, and then you look for Microsoft um, list view, this one, minus version 6.0 yours could be different just select check this box and click on ok I'm gonna cancel that for now now if you do not find that in your additional control uh, just check back um, after this video I'll do a small video where you can add all these um, common controls so now I'm gonna add this list view the other reason why I use this list view instead of uh, tree view you can use tree view as well for this same uh, event so once you add this here, I'll quickly change um, the effect to flat down here. Uh, the view type, I'll make it to report. You can add an image uh, manually. You can add it dynamically, dy dynamically as well. So you've done this in your in our prior videos. So uh, these are some of you know like the samples that I tried. You can play around. You can add you know like image of your choice. So once you add um, the image, it will look like this, yeah. Again, the background has been set to match the background of this particular background of the input fields. And I think that's pretty much it that I did from the design perspective. So once you double click on it, you'll see there are many events. The one we're looking for here is drag and drop, okay. now. Let me quickly go to the user form initialize and towards the bottom of you'll see that the list view oily drop mode has been set to manual. Okay, so this is one thing that you will add to your code if you add a new um, drag and drop feature on load. And after that, you will like once you double click on this button, uh, control you'll see this code behind it. So basically, the only important thing here to know is the data that the user is dropping on top of this control this variable uh, current file is basically returning this data property and then whatever is the first file data dot files and then whatever is the first file it's getting it and then this portion is basically just to add whatever was you know added to the control so this r is basically returning me what is the count of items within the list box so let's say that there are more than one item this will return me more items so uh, every time I add the new um, item or drag the new item to this control it keeps on adding that so the first is just the file name and then in the hidden column in the second column there is um, a full file path okay So I think that's pretty much it. Uh, once we cover uh, the last portion where we're submitting the data, we'll take care of where to get, uh, where it's getting loaded and so on. So um, let's proceed to the next video.